Good morning, Wednesday the 23rd, I'm pretty sure. Wednesday the 23rd. Don't have a lot of content this week. Things have been nuts. Things have been crazy. <sighs> Nothing bad, all good, sort of. Okay, it's Wednesday morning. I just, yeah, look, I just came back from bringing Molly for her walk. Um, this is week 12. I'm going to get right down to it and try not to stall around because there's plenty to do today. Week 12 of 52 weeks of dishcloths. And this week's dishcloth is called Pips. Pips. As far as I know, Pips are those little tiny things that are in fruits, like seeds or something. Let's see what this says it is. Pips is by Hannah Meyer or Major. I don't know if it's not an I. Ma May M A I E R Hannah Mayer. Um, it's the garter bumps on one side and knit ridges on the other side make this a great reversible dishcloth with plenty of scrubbing power. This is also a great beginner pattern. All you need to know is how to knit and purl, cast on, and bind off. That's all you need to know for anything, right? All right, not being sarcastic. Okay. With only two rows to memorize. You'll have a whole pile of these dishcloths done, ready to tackle your dishes in a snap. It's true because every other row is knit across. Okay, there are some pearls in it, but it's not bad. Okay, it's finished nine inches wide by eight high. It was done in Knit Picks Dishy. I have to do this quick. I've got the sun starting to come in over my right shoulder. Okay, so here's Pips. Let's put it where you can see it. Mine doesn't look at all like that. Mine just does not look like that. I think I knit too loosely. I will show you. I used uh, the sugar and cream stripes. This is deep stash. I don't know if they make this anymore, but I'm going searching for it because it's self-striping. Like, it makes stripes. It's not variegated, it's stripes. Oh my goodness, look at this. I finished it, but I didn't. It's finished, but I didn't block it. I'm telling you, things have been crazy. Oh, it's not even tied off yet. Look at, I still have that last stitch loose. But here it is, Pips. This is the knit across side. But look at how lovely this col these colors are. Let me go back. I think I really like these stripes. I'm gonna go looking. That's my, my plan this week is to go looking at Joanne. I went to Hobby Lobby. They didn't have anything like what I wanted. Um, so I'm going to go to Joanne and Michael's and see if um, I can find the stripes because I like this. Okay, so that's the knit side. You can kind of tell what it is. That one's knit across. However, because of the previous rows, this side is the... I won't tell you the pattern, but it's got the two pearl bumps and it's got the one knit on this side. So I like this one. It's called Pips. And it is because it has those pearl bumps on the side. It is nice and stretchy and I love the stripes. Oh, I forgot something. Hang on one second. I will be right back. My goodness. I think something just happened with the lighting. <laughs> okay, I'm right back. There's a little <laughs> I had to close the curtains because the sun I went away to get what I forgot, this white yarn, and um I had to close the curtains because the sun came in and in a split second it was like it was so much light that it made it look like I was in the dark, if that makes sense. But you know, it just washes everything out. Okay. <sighs> Got a lot of things to get done before the day is done today. Um my other project. My friend Donna from Expresso Knitters was um, knitting during our weekly Zoom and she was doing a cute bunny dishcloth. So she gave me the link which I will provide to you in the description box below. It's a free site. Um, it's called Dishcloth Corner dot blogspot.com you might be able to find it just by that this date was 5 5 2006 it's an archived pattern but there are some bunnies there 
and I didn't finish it, but I did a bunny. You really can't tell it's a bunny till it's done, I think, because I think that's its tail. I don't know if it's supposed to be the pearl side, maybe. Well, it's not showing real well, but it has something to do with it not being done. Goes real quick. It's real easy. Okay, so I'm going to leave you the link for this. So that was my interim. That's like, um, that was something I did. I started Sunday night, but things have been kind of busy. Um, we're still getting, you know, we still got stuff going on because we're becoming a one dog family instead of a two. But if I'm completely honest, I have to tell you that I have been on the internet looking at dogs, which I said I wouldn't do. And my husband's not quite ready for something like that. And I don't even know if Molly's ready for something like that or if it's what they both need to get them over what they're feeling. All I'm going to say in my defense is that I lost my dog. <laughs> that was my dog, not his dog. So if I have need to look at dogs, I shall look at dogs. And I'm going out to look at some dogs today. Like, notice how quiet. My husband's not even home and I'm whispering about it. Knock on wood that he doesn't watch this video today. Although once I come home, I'll tell him I, what I did today. Anyway, that's on the agenda. Um, I have my, I, I, you know, I've got, my quilts are going well. I just didn't bring them up to show because I don't have a lot of time today because I have to leave. And it's been such a full week and such a full day. I had to go to the dentist this week. Never fun, but I got a good report and I'm good for six months. I had been going three times a year, but now she thinks I'm good and I can go two times a year, back to two times a year. So we'll see that they had no problems this time. So glad. Um, and then previous to that, I had to go for my mammogram. Ah, um, when I sat there, when I was waiting to go in, I thought about it. Since I turned 40, I've been going once a year for a mammogram. I'm in my 70th year. I've had 30 mammograms. Can that be? I can't even believe it. Where's the time gone? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got other we got other appointments coming up too, like maybe endoscopy and colonoscopy. But I'm not even going to think about that because I got a few weeks before I have to go see that doctor. Now here's the other thing. I've been married five times. This is just like bits of information that you really maybe TMI, but I've been married five times. I only got married once in church. And that was in the 80s after my daughter was born because I had never been married in church. So I couldn't partake or be a participant in the sacraments because I'm Roman Catholic. And the way the Catholics work it is that if you don't follow those rules, you don't get the sacraments, buddy. So, okay. I got married to my second husband twice because oh this is going to be bizarre his name was dennis too my current husband's name is dennis i married dennis twice i married him in a legal you know uh, a legal ceremony but the, the church doesn't recognize that and so then we got married in the ch chapel some years later like i think we got married in 79 and we got married in the church in 83 because now i'd have my second child and I'm bringing, you know, I was bringing my son Jody to all his sacraments and doing the thing with him. And now, you know, the daughter was getting baptized and we're doing First Communion for Jody and all that stuff. But I couldn't participate. Here I am bringing the kids along. But, you know, so what kind of an example was I? So we got married in church. Bad timing. He wasn't really ready to be married. And so that dissolved. That marriage dissolved. Got married again. Third time, just a civil ceremony because I was married in church, so I couldn't remarry. And then I got married again, and that was just a civil ceremony. But then Dennis and I started seeing each other, and we were both in the same situation. We had both been married in, um, you know, church once and needed um, annulments in order to get married. So what we did was we got married in 2010 with the idea that we'll get an annulment and get married as, in church as soon as we could, because that's what ultimately what we wanted to do. So I, 
um, we never got married in church and we've, this year we will have been married 12 years. So that's, that's how efficient we are. But we had the annulments done in, I finished my annulment in 2011 because in those days it was, it had a course attached to it and you had to fill out all kinds of paperwork and go for interviews and do all that stuff. Well, I did it all and I've got the signed documents and I'm good to go. But then after that, we were married and life got busy and we just never, well, we kind of started the proceedings, but the priest at the time over here was very, very busy and he didn't really have time for us. And I guess he, I mean, we could have pushed it, but we didn't. So today, Dennis came home this week and said he got us an appointment for tonight, Wednesday night. So we're going to meet with the um, parish pastor here. And uh, I don't know if we have to take classes, but we got to bring our proof of the annulment. Although annulments are free now, which is a lot better. Um, so for people who want to get annulled now and married in church, it doesn't cost anything. They used, we used to have to pay, I think it was $500 we had to pay. And um, now it's free. So that's a cool thing. But I have my paperwork. My husband locked his paperwork in a safe in the safe. He can't open the safe. But something happened to the tumbler, I guess, because he has the right combination and no matter who tries to open it, it won't open. So he's got to get either a safe cracker or a, what, a locksmith, I guess, over here. Because, of course, he put it in his biggest, heaviest safe. It's not an easily, it's not one that's easily moved to the locksmith. So we have to have, anyway, or maybe the diocese can give him a... Uh, a copy because <laughs> it's on record i'm sure or maybe yeah probably father ryan can tell us what to do about that because he'd be in the know about what's going on with that that paperwork stuff anyhow that's what's going on today so lots to do so that i can be ready and back here by six o'clock and go over to the parish with dennis so we'll see so it's short and sweet for today like i said We'll have um, a link in the down in the description box of these dishcloths because maybe you'll want to make yourself a bunny dishcloth for Easter, which is coming up April 17th. Gives you plenty of time because <laughs> you can make this in the night. If you have a good movie, two hours, yeah, you can do this. Or let's say you want to go real slow, two nights. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, have fun. Enjoy this wonderful day. The sun's gorgeous. You can hear my dog barking. She wants to go out again. I'm going to go tend to her. So we'll see you next week. Bye now. <laughs>